you know, maybe it's not quite time for us to, but we gotta think about that with time. Like, we, we see it all as 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, all that crap, right? As soon as you're off planet Earth, that's off, right? I mean, it, it has, it's based entirely off of our orbit around the sun and the rotation of, our, of the planet we reside on. Um, it's useless out of that. It, even a little bit in orbit, you're, you're off. Or, or if our rotation ever changes, which it has before, or our orbit changes, it's meaningless, so we need a better concept of that, and I think that'll help us create a safe haven for our species, just in case. And I don't anticipate that happening with 2012, but I think there's going to be, uh, well, there's been a lot of fireballs in the sky the last couple of months. I mean, these things have been increasing exponentially, and, and uh, I know people are noticing. Nobody wants to say anything, because it's kind of terrifying, I think, but don't be scared of it. I, I think we're good. I think they'll protect us from that, so that's not a good reason to keep nukes around, just so everybody knows. We're better off asking for their assistance, and I think they're watching us already. Uh, they wouldn't be here trying to help us if, if they're going to let us get blasted by an asteroid, and uh, they're a lot better at scanning for those things that we are. Uh, we just had that one, whatever, and everybody was all worked up about it at past nearby. Yeah, guys, being close to this galactic plane with the 2012 deal, it's going to we're going to see a lot of cool stuff in the sky, but I think most of it's going to be harmless. There may be a few that hit the ground, but I don't, I certainly don't foresee anything big hitting our planet, so don't, you know, there's so much fear going on right now. I heard a few people were scared of a, of a comet hitting in 2012. I don't think that's the case. A few people have asked me about Planet X, of all things, um, and I started to research a little bit, and bizarrely enough, it would appear that maybe there's a bit of credibility to it. But uh, from my direct knowledge, they sure haven't, I don't think, mentioned it. Sort of in the beginning, I kind of thought, and you know, that was when a lot of the information was spilling out too. Now I've sort of contained it, but I, I, I still don't have, I have some means to access it, but not some of the detailed scientific stuff. If you're interested in that, here's my take on it. And this is my take, and this is me gluing dots together, and I'm perhaps doing it wrong. So... Before I say it, that's this is my take on it, but I can certainly see, um, I think it's more interdimensional, the Planet X thing. I think we're lined up, I've explained this a few times before, but I don't go into much detail on it because I'm afraid I'll lose people, but the fourth dimension uses the black hole, which is actually a brilliant light, it's antimatter in the middle of our galaxy, um, as a mirror, and the reflection on the other side of that mirror is the same place that you're at, uh, except they all spin and rotate and around so the reflection goes in all directions, right? So it gets complicated. But there are probably several planets linked up to us that, that we don't realize, and that's uh, probably the means that a lot of these beings use to, to access this planet. Probably because it's closer. It's easier. <laughs> you know, if we figure that out, boy, we're going we're gonna to get somewhere with space travel. Uh, I think it's a mathematical equation. You just got to really know the orbits and the speeds and all that stuff well and be able to calculate how to be on what part of what planet at what time to be on another planet to be on its reflection. It's like trying to time being seeing a full eclipse, you know, but a lot more spinning around variables, which, boy, I'm good at math, but I like to estimate things and I can estimate extremely well, but that's going to take precision, so. I think that's what the Planet X deal is, guys. But at the same time, we're coming near this galactical plane, which basically means the strongest pole in the entire galaxy. There's basically a lot of debris, uh, and that debris could certainly contain another planet. And the way we view the way our solar system spins uh, is very basic. And uh, we haven't really gotten far in realizing how we spin around our galaxy. And that's what 2012 is all about, because we move... Like I would say, if you're looking at it from the top, everybody sees the picture of the spiral galaxy, you know? Okay, picture a sombrero, uh, the big Mexican hat. If you're looking at it from the top, and then turn it on its side. And you need to realize that as we go round and round, we also, now as we're looking at it on its side, we go up and down very slowly. But we cover a great distance. Our entire solar system does that. So the 2012 deal is we're right in the middle of that. Um... And that's where all the gravity is. You know, it's as close to that enormous black hole as we get. And, and, and keep in mind the moon 
affects the tides a tremendous amount. Just the gravity of the moon pulls all that water that far, and our bodies are composed 72% of water, so it affects us as well. So all that gravity is a big deal for everything. And it's forcing our sun to do interesting things, too, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I suggest you start just looking at it and watching, because it's weird. You don't need to view the, you know, telescopic websites or anything. Just look up in the sky at that thing. It uh, is doing a lot of things that it didn't do, as I recall, before. Rings around it. Crazy stuff. It's white now. Remember, didn't it used to be yellow? <laughs> yes, it did. But it is white now if you take a look at it. Don't look long, because it's extra hard to look at. It, that's why 2012 matters, though, and that's what's going on. And that's what's causing all these changes. So I could see in that gravity um, bodies, like planets, being caught up there, like where they just stay there. They don't move up and down like we do. So it's a whole new plane, a whole new trajectory that we're on, because we're also spinning as well as going up and down. So we'll be at a new place that we were last time, 25,000 years ago. So unless there's a body there that, that goes the same speed we do and, and is time just right, which is certainly possible. I mean, it's all by a grand design, and I, I wouldn't doubt that, but I think the fourth dimension it, uh, is a more simple explanation. All that isn't necessary, but I used to think that maybe we would get really close and there'd be some method for some of us to jump from one to another. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I, for a period of time, I wondered, too, if, if a certain group of us uh, were, were going to just disappear in outer space and be taken away. I don't see that happening either. This is the life we have on the place that we're at, and uh, we need to embrace it. We're here, and uh, I don't think we're going anywhere, guys, other than when we die and... Religion has an interesting take on that. They say you go to heaven, which is outer space. So I like to say when you die, you go to outer space. I think that's hilarious. And and true by all religious standards. Nobody ever looks at it that way though, right? <laughs> I'm going to heaven. You mean outer space? No, heaven. No, same thing. Exact same thing, right? So that's what I've got to say uh, today. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. And one other thing. Uh, I put up pictures that I, that I take of this beautiful place that we all share that I hope we start appreciating. And I want to tell everybody, if there's any of these pictures you like, I also set up a website. I'll, I'll put a little link to it here, or at least the website you can copy and paste or whatever. I, I'm not real good at links. Yeah, lame, huh? Anyway, <laughs> go there. You can see um, a whole bunch of different pictures I've taken. I've been trying to sell these, and I'm, I'm going to stop doing that because um, nothing's selling right now because the economy is terrible and everybody's struggling and uh, I don't want people to feel obligated to buy something from me. I, I don't like that system. I want to I want to give these to people just because like I think it's cool to think that I, I took this picture and somebody likes it enough that they would uh, you know and what you guys can do is I'll just send you the file and then in turn if you go to uh, Walmart. God try to find a better place to go than Walmart but it, it's difficult I know. Heat feeding the beast but it, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's your own choice. But you can take it there and get it printed out. I, I know Walmart who has the cheapest everything, and we all have to go there now because of that. Um, I think it's like $5 to get an 8x10 print printed up, and then you can buy $3 frames for them. They, they look really nice, and uh, I gave them out as uh, Christmas presents this year, some of them. But I think it's cool. I, I think it'd be cool if people just wanted to hang it on their wall, you know. So let me know if you want any of them. Like I said, you can go to that website and see all the different ones I have. I started putting kind of quotes under some of them because when they're panoramic and I do them on an 8x10 print, it doesn't fit, and I hate cutting them down because panoramic view is beautiful um, and different. But So I put quotes on the bottom of some of them. If you have a quote you want me to type on there with my little software, I will. And uh, any, Or if you want the one I have on there, just let me know. But they're yours if you want them. They're all watermarked on the website. I don't know why I did that either. I got possessive of them. And I'm not going to redo it all, <laughs> so um, feel free to just just shoot me an email and tell me which one you want, and I'll email that to you. I'd like to do that for people, so. Or make it your screensaver if you like them. Or if you don't want my pictures at all, my feelings are hurt, so. No, I'm joking. A little bit, but uh, <laughs> they're yours if you want them, just tell me. I want to share those, so that makes me happy. All right, one other request, if everyone doesn't mind. If there's someone out there that can help me with this, okay? I have this issue that uh, I get a lot of emails and I want to write a book. And the problem is, logistically, typing takes a while, as everybody knows.